Um, well, a lot of people wonder how did the mini gastric bypass get started, and uh, so we have a kind of a story about that. Um, the background is that the loop connection, what's called the Bill Roth II type connection between the stomach and the intestine, has been around for uh, over a hundred years now, and it was invented by a, oh yeah, a guy named Bill Roth, and uh, basically he was cutting away tumors in the stomach in the early, uh, well, before the 1900s and the 1890s. And uh, they had a, a, a spectacularly high mortality rate because that was actually prior to using gloves or a mask for surgery. They had anesthesia. Well, they wore a black coat so they could do this at the end of the surgery. I mean, it was rough times. So it's been, bottom line is the surgery's been around forever. And um, I was a trauma surgeon from 1978 through 1998 at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. I started my residency there and then was on the staff from 1985 to 1998. And uh, in 1997, I was on call for trauma one night when a local drug dealer in Durham, North Carolina, had a disagreement on pricing with one of his customers. And so he got shot in the belly seven times with a 357 Magnum. <laughs> About 9 o'clock that night, I got him up to the operating room. We cut away the tail of his pancreas, the spleen, the bottom of his stomach, and some intestine. And we hooked him up by kind of a standard technique. We hooked the bottom of his stomach to the side of the bowel, which is a Bill Roth II type connection and should remind you of your mini gastric bypass. Um, the next morning, I had scheduled a laparoscopic Roux and Y gastric bypass to have surgery. And that patient was a, a friend of mine, and she had been a nurse and done lots of Bill Roth twos for ulcer disease, which we used to do all the time in the old days prior to cimetidine and Tagamet. And I said, gee, I don't understand why we're doing this complex Roux and Y, where we can do an easy Bill Roth II connection. And so she said yes. And uh, since that time, we've now done over 5,100 and some patients. And maybe the most exciting development for me has been this past summer where uh, we had to go to Paris for work at the international meeting of the Federation for Surgery of Obesity and there a couple of fun things happened. We had about 10 or 11 papers published on the mini gastric bypass all of which confirming our results that it's a good surgery. We had three papers in particular that were controlled, prospective, randomized trials that said that the MGB was better than the lap band and better than the Roux and Y and better than the sleeve gastrectomy. And then I did a presentation on a couple of our uh, findings and research. And at the end of it, I finished and about 25 surgeons from all around the world, from Bulgaria and Germany and England and Spain and Italy, from India, from China, from Hong Kong, from Australia, from Mexico, all came up and said, gee, we love the MGB and we use it all the time. And so it's from that drug dealer and his gunshot wounds in 1997, the mini gastric bypass now is spread around the world. So yeah, I'd like telling that story.